This method can help enable research in any field requiring precision liquid handling, including molecular, cell, and systems biology, chemical engineering, and microfabrication. The main advantage of this approach is that we are able to fabricate low-cost, pressure-regulated syringe pumps. This technique should save money across a wide range of disciplines. This technique showcases how we can couple additive manufacturing with open source electronics to make a useful piece of laboratory instrumentation. To begin, download the .stl design files from the supplemental files of this publication. Prepare these files for printing by opening them in a software package dedicated to the conversion of .stl model files to executable instruction sets for the 3D printer being used. Ensure that the proper software is being used as some printers will require proprietary software whereas others may be able to print directly from the .stl file. Now, print the plastic components using acrylonitrile butadiene styrene with a high quality 3D printer setting. If other common 3D printing materials are being used, such as polylactic acid or other thermoplastic elastomers, make sure that the finished mechanical properties are comparable. Once complete, detach the printed parts from the printing platform of the 3D printer. Remove the printed supporting structure from the finished parts. Smooth the printed components by sanding any rough edges using sandpaper. For best results, use sandpaper with a grit size below 220. Make sure all components are smooth before assembling and ensure that all seven parts have been printed.